This is Adi Sharma Solution Class 12 Chapter 11 Differentiation Exercise is 11.7 Now the next question So we have x and y and basically these two are the reciprocals I mean the power is changed So if I assume this to be p the power is q y is basically q to the power p so the differentiation will be same i'm just i'm just giving you an analogy or the way the things are seen but the differentiation is x equals t plus 1 by t to the power a so x to the power n differentiation is what x to the power n minus n x to the power n minus 1 similarly we'll do it here also dx by dt will be a t plus 1 by t to the power a minus 1 now differentiation of t plus 1 by t what it will be it will be 1 minus 1 by t square t is 1 1 by t is minus 1 by t square and what is y y is given as a to the power t plus 1 by t so when we take dy by dt so we are differentiating it with respect to t So if it is a to the power t and we are differentiating with respect to t it will be what If it is y equals a to the power x what is dy by dx it is a to the power x log a Since we are differentiating with respect to t it will be a to the power that thing log a So a t plus 1 by t then we have log log a all right So now this differentiation of t plus 1 by t which is which we have already done it will be 1 minus 1 by t square now we have to divide them so we have to do dy by dt divided by dx by dt so 1 divided by 2 we are doing let us divide it okay so a t plus 1 by t to the power a minus 1 1 minus 1 by t square Now since this one minus one by t square is similar, you can cancel them out, and then you will have a t plus one by t log a, and in the denominator you have a a t plus one by t to the power a minus one. Now this is the same thing which we wanted. This is the answer. so this question we have already done okay and uh, i hope you will be able to do it by yourself i have given you the reference also question rule is to be applied here in order to solve this question so let us start with the those who want to actually know how to do this dx by dt i am doing a will use it later denominator we have 1 minus t square to the power whole square then we have 1 minus t square here differentiation of 1 plus t square is what it is 2t minus so we have first we have 1 minus t square outside then we will take 1 plus t square outside and we will differentiate 1 minus t square this time so it will be 0 minus uh, twice of t so twice of t minus minus become plus so i am making the in between plus as uh, negative as plus so we have this 2t so 2t you can you can take common if you want you can take 2t common and you can just get inside things together and you will see that t square and t square will get cancelled i'll just show you so i am uh, taking a is already there i told you a is already there and 2t we are taking common 1 plus t square plus 1 minus t square will be inside so t square t square t square and minus t square you can cancel them out so you have i am just multiplying inside you can take 2t common also but let us multiply this the the result will remain same because minus 2t square and 2t one is 2t cube and 2t cube will also get cancelled denominator 1 minus t square whole square a i am not writing right now a is already there So two t and two t is four t, and then we have a four t. Denominator one minus t square whole square. This is dx by dt. Now we will come to dy by dt. 
So dy by dt is and please remember this dx by dt has to be taken in the denominator once we finalize the answer. So I am doing dy by dt now 1 minus t square here 1 minus t square in the denominator then we have 2t differentiation is 2 then we have 2t 1 minus t square will be 1 is 0 and negative will remain like this so negative uh, will become positive in between and 2t. So 2 minus 2t two square plus 2 to the 4 4t square. So what do you get here in the numerator? 2 uh, plus 2t two square because 4t square minus 2t square will be 2t square. You have 2 plus 2t square. So you can take 2 common. It will be 1 plus t square. 1 minus t square whole square. So I told you d this dy by dt divided by dx by dt will be dy by dx. So you have to divide 1 by 2. So I am just taking this and putting it uh, in the denominator. So it will go up 1 minus t square whole square 4 it will come down. Now this 1 minus t square whole square this 1 minus t square whole square gets cancelled. And this 2 you can cancel this 280. So 1 plus t square denominator you will get 280. Okay this is your answer. x is equal to 10 into t minus sin t, y is 12 into 1 minus cos t. We have to find dy by dx. And uh, we will do the same way which we have been doing up till now. dx by dt. So 10 we will talk about it later. Differentiation of t is 1, sin t is cos t. 10 into 1 minus cos t. dy by dt is equal to 12. 1 is 0 and cos t is minus sin t. So minus minus become plus. So sin t only. And now we will take dy by dt by dx by dt so that we can get dy by dx. So 1 divided by one divided by 2 we have to do. So dy by dx by dx by dt it is going to be 12 sin t divided by 10 into 1 minus cos t. Alright. Now this 12 and 10 you can always you know cancel it and by 2 and you can get it 6 by 5. Sin t, sin 2 theta is 2 sin theta cos theta, sin t is what? 2 sin t by 2 cos t by 2. And in the denominator 1 minus cos t is what? 2 sin square t by 2. You already know that 2 sin square t by 2. And then we have this 6 and 5. So 2, 2 gets cancelled. 6 and 5 is already there. 1, 1 sin you can cancel. So cos t2, t by 2 and sin t by 2, this is going to be cot t by 2. So 6 by 5, cot t by 2. This is your answer, dy by dx. Then we have x equals a theta minus sin theta. Y is a 1 plus cos theta. So we have to find out dy by dx at theta is equal to pi by 3. This First part, most of the time we have already done in previous questions. Pi by 3 is nothing but if you multiply it by 180 by pi, you will know the degree. That is 60 degree you have to keep when you actually find out the final result. So same thing we are going to do here. dx by dt, oh sorry, d theta is equal to a, theta is 1, sin theta will be cos theta. So 1 minus cos theta it will be. A 1 minus cos theta. And then dy by d theta will be A you can take common 1 plus cos theta. So 1 is 0 cos theta is minus sin theta. It will be negative A sin theta. dy by d theta by dx by d theta you have to do. 1 divided by 2. So you can just take this A 1 minus cos theta in the denominator. So this is how I save your time and my time also. I don't just don't do all the step. I just explain things. So a, a gets cancelled. You can just open this sin theta as 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2 1 minus cos theta also you know. This is the way you can do. But the better way is if you know the value of sin 60 degree and cos 60 degree you can uh, solve this here only. So I am just putting theta here sin 60 degree 1 minus cos 60 degree. So cos 60 degree is half, sin 60 degree is uh, root 3 by 2. So you can just keep the value 1 minus half is half only. 2, 2 gets cancelled minus root 3. So negative root 3 is your answer. Alright. So 
सो हेयर यू है एक्स इक्वल्स ए साइन टू टी वन प्लस कॉस टू टी वाई इज बी कॉस टू टी वन माइनस कॉस टू टी टी इक्वल्स पाई बाय फोर पाई बाय फोर इज फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री डी वाई बाई डी एक्स हैज टू बी कंप्यूटेड एज बी बाय ए ओके सो दिस इज द वे यू कैन डू और यू कैन फॉलो वट आई हैव टू ऑफर लेट एस सी दैट डी एक्स बाय डी टी ओके मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल दे कंप्लेन एक्चुअली दे से दैट द आंसर इज इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू एंड यू सी द आंसर एंड जस्ट सॉल्व इट एंड देन यू से पीपल डोंट सी योर वीडियो और डोंट लाइक इट नाउ द बेसिक थिंग इज सी एवरी वन नोज मोस्ट ऑफ द मैथमेटिक्स आई जस्ट हेल्प आई जस्ट गिव द लॉजिक so there is small push which uh, some of the uh, students need that's what i provide okay because if I, if i do everything what will you do all right i can also hide this answer and then i can just see and 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 just write it that is also possible but there are certain uh, students who ask that i we want the answer so that we can write in our uh, notebook and uh, we can keep it as uh, for to refer next time all right and i'll show you how i'll do it in a different way just to just to be sure that things may be different from the answer okay because there can be multiple ways of solving the uh, question so a will talk about it later because a and b are definitely going to come they are constant both x and y on the right hand side we have a and b so let us differentiate the way we were doing it sin 2t i am doing it using the product rule so sin 2t One plus cos two t one is zero. Cos two t will be minus sine two t, and then two t will be two. So it will be minus two sine two t. So minus two sine two t it will be minus two sine two t. So what are you going to get? This now one plus cos two t will take outside, and differentiation of sine two t will do. Sine two t is simply cos two t. Okay, so this the x by dt we have found out. A will talk later. A will be there. Don't worry about that. And this is minus two sine square two t sine square two t sine two t sine two t sine square two t. Okay, minus sine minus two sine square two t. And then we have inside this plus. Cos two t. I'm multiplying cos two t with one plus cos two t. So you will get cos two t plus cos square two t. So anything which we can do here, uh, cos square two t sine square two t. We have. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Just see uh, if we are able to solve this, because I'm just trying to find out whether we can have some sine square theta plus cos square theta kind of stuff. or we can take something common which i don't see right now maybe later uh, till the time we uh, find out a way we will go for we dy by dt dy by dt is b b definitely is going to come later uh, cos 2t 1 minus cos 2t differentiation is on is zero cos 2t is minus sin 2t so minus is already there minus minus become plus so you just write uh, sin 2t and differentiation of 2t will be 2 Then we have plus one minus cos two t will like uh, write like that cos two t will be minus sine two t so it be, here we have minus sine two t and then we have differentiation of two t that is two okay so we have two sine two t cos two t you can write uh two sine two t cos two t you can write sine four uh, t but I I don't think it is necessary because we already know that t equals pi by 4 we have to keep so just differentiate and keep the value now dx by dt i am writing again cos 2t here plus 2 cos square 2t and minus sin square t i am just taking two common nothing else nothing else here we are getting in the dy by dt 2 sin 2t cos 2t 2t and then we have yeah here Just assume that two sine two t is in front of one minus cos two t, but multiply it. So minus two sine two t, and then we have minus minus plus two sine two t cos two t. 
so 2 sin 2t cos 2t twi 2 time so in the denominator you can write this as 2 sin 2 2t cos 2t will be 4 sin 2t cos 2t 4 sin 2t and cos 2t and here we have minus 2 sin 2t okay pi by 4 we have to find out just keep pi by 2 a is there b is there see i have i have divided this dy by dt with dx by dt divided by dy by dt i have done so whatever is the answer we have to make the reciprocal 2t is what 2 into pi by 4 which is pi by 2 only which is 90 degree so cos pi by 2 plus twice of cos square pi by 2 minus sin square pi by 2 divided by 4 into 4 into sin pi by 2 cos pi by 2 minus 2 sin pi by 2 please remember sin 0 is 0 sin pi by 2 is 1 then cos 0 is 1 and cos pi by 2 is 0 so cos pi by 2 cos square pi by 2 all these are zeros just just uh, remove this this also becomes 0 and we have this as 2 uh, minus 2 sin square pi by 2 sin square pi by 2 divided by this is minus 2 sin pi by 2 sin pi by 2 is 1 this is 1 this is 1 minus 2 minus 2 gets cancelled you get a 1 okay now you see the answer i showed you and the answer i did or the solution i did is entirely different okay now you have to reciprocal because i did dx by dt divided by d by dt we have to do d by dt divided by dx by dt so i'm just making a reciprocal so it was a by b and that will be b by a now so finally the answer will be b by a if you remember dx by dt d by dt i have done and i'm just we need dy by dt by dx by dt so it is coming as b by a so there are different ways of doing it i did in a different way somebody of uh, somebody in in u may do differently the answer is different in internet also you will find different solutions because normally when i do a solution i generally refer to certain good websites where the solution is already done just to be sure that i am not going out of the because teachers uh, they always follow the websites okay so i don't want to give you a wrong uh, answer next one is t equals pi by 4 we have to find out uh, dy by dx so this is very straightforward question uh, nothing much to you know there's no trick here dx by dt we'll find out dx by dt dy by dt and just divide them so cos t and I am following the product rule 3 will be 0 minus 2 cos square t will be 2 cos t cos t will be minus sin t cos t is minus sin t so minus minus become this sin t so it is 2 to the 4 4 cos t sin t so you just write 4 cos t sin t okay then we have and there is plus in between this is very big plus but I just assume it to be a plus 3 minus 2 cos square t and then cos t will be minus sin t so this big plus will now become a negative make it as a negative so 3 minus 2 cos square t sin uh, and this cos t will be sin t differentiation i'm multiplying this now so 4 cos square t sin t it will be 4 cos square t sin t and then we have just assume that sin t is in front so minus sin t here so minus 3 sin t here and minus minus become plus 2 sin t cos square t 2 cos square t sin t so 2 cos square t sin t 4 cos square t sin t it will give you 6 cos square t sin t 6 cos square t sin t minus 3 sin t this is dx by dt then we have dy by dt what will be dy by dt see you have to write each and everything i just take shortcut you know you, either you love it or don't or you rebuke at me but i follow a very very safe and 
easy way to actually solve the question so now sin t so 3 0 uh, minus 2 sin square t will be 2 sin t and then uh, sin t will be cos t so i'm writing it minus 4 sin t cos t and then we have i'm just rechecking it then we have to write 3 minus 2 sin square t like that and then we have to differentiate sin t so 3 minus 2 sin square t it will be and differentiation of sin t is going to be cos t okay let us open minus 4 sin square t cos t and plus 3 cos t and minus 2 sin square t cos t minus 2 sin square t cos t now what do you see something is forming 3 cos t i am taking outside and minus 4 sin square t cos t and minus 2 sin square t cos t is minus 6 sin square t cos t okay ab now you see if we take certain thing common we will get a formula here okay so if i take 3 sin t here in dx by dt inside this you will get 2 square t minus 1 all right this one so 3 sin t and 2 square 2 1 minus 2 cos square t or is what 1 minus 2 cos square t and 2 cos square t minus 1 it is cos 2t we have already seen this in previous discussion here also 3 cos t will take outside and then 1 minus 2 sin square t so 3 cos t 1 minus 2 sin square t is what it is cos it is same thing cos 2t so dy by dt divided by dx by dt that will do so 3 cos t it cos 2t and from here i have taken dy by dt now and now dx by dt let us write it is going to be 3 sin t cos 2t so this gets cancel 3 cos 2t and we get cot t by sin t which is going to cos t by sin t that is cot t it is to be found out at pi by 4 it is 45 degree 10 45 degree cot 45 degree they both are one next one x is equal to 1 plus log t by t square y is 3 plus 2 log t by t divided by dt we have to find out so dx by dt is going to be equal to we are applying the question to t to the power 4 t square here 1 plus cot 1 plus log t is what 1 is 0 log t is 1 by t so just write 1 by t okay t square whole square then t square above then 1 plus log t is 1 is 0 log t is 1 by t so it is it is good and then we have here minus then 1 plus log t will remain like that differentiation of t square is going to be 2t so t 1 t you can cancel is this so you have t minus twice of t so 2t here so minus 2t and minus 2t log t in the denominator you have t to the power 4 so numerator t minus 2t is minus t and then we have minus 2t log t minus 2t log t denominator you have t to the power 4 so i'm taking from the numerator minus t outside it will be 1 plus 1 plus 2 log t and in the denominator you have 2 to the power t to the power 4 t raise 4 you can cancel this also t cube it will be so this is your dx by dt and we are going to use it just now but before that let us find out your dy by dt dy by dt is what directly doing i am doing directly so t raise square t square and t will be here 3 0 2 log log t is 1 by t so 2 1 by t will be plus or uh, 3 plus 2 log t will remain like that 3 plus 2 log t and then we have 3 plus 2 log t and differentiation of t is 1 so 2 plus 3 plus 2 log t 2 plus 3 oh there is a negative in between <laughs> see whenever we do the quotient rule where will be negative in between i have written plus that's my mistake and i urge you i request you that while doing these questions sometimes if i can make mistake everyone can mistake everybody to err is human 
So there is a problem here in the question tool. There will be a negative in between. Okay. So it will be two plus two minus three plus two log t. So let us do this. Two minus so it will be two minus three minus two log t. And then two minus three is going to be minus one and minus two log t. So it we, it is now matching what we have in the dx by dt. This is negative. Okay. So this is negative. This is negative. Two minus three is minus one. And this is minus two log t. And in the denominator you have t square. So I'm taking minus one outside. 1 plus 2 log t divided by t square. Now dy by dt is known, dx by dt is known. Divide dy by dt, divide, let us find out dy by dt by dx by dt. So we have minus 1 plus 2 log t here divided by what? You have t cube. Okay. So what do you get? Negative, negative gets cancelled. 1 plus 2 log t can get cancelled. t cube goes up. t cube by t square, 1 t gets cancelled. You get a t. So I am sorry, I am deeply, uh, humbly sorry because in question rule there will be negative in between. So we have, uh, see this question can be done in different ways. Since we have already uh, taken up question number 18 and most of the thing we have already done there. So I am going to do this question directly. All right. Sin x is 2t by 1 plus t square. I'm, if I write x, it will be sin inverse 2t by 1 plus t square. In question number 18, we have already seen when we put t as tan theta, it will be this whole solution will be 2 tan inverse t. Then 10y is equal to 2t by 1 minus t square. Y can be written as tan inverse of 2t by 1 minus t square. In question number 18 and earlier questions also, when we put t as tan uh, theta or, or the way we have already explained, you can easily get this as 2 tan inverse t. So x is equal to right, the right hand side is same for both of this. So dx by dt, dy by dt, they both are same. 2 tan inverse t, 2 tan inverse t. Okay. When we take dy by dx, it is nothing but dy by dt divided by dx by dt. Even if you take the differentiation, tan inverse t is what? 1 by 1 plus t square. So 2 1 plus t square here. Here also 2 1 plus t square. Divided by dt will be 2 1 plus uh, 1 by 1 plus t square. So when you get this 2 into 1 by 1 plus t square, divided by dt also 2 1 by 1 plus t square. So when we find out dy by dt and divided by dx by dt, that is going to be equal to dy by dx. And that is nothing but both are equal. So you, you visually you can see both are equal, but you have to write everything. Okay, you just cancel it out. You just say the answer is one. This from this this is this will take some time. Okay, I am just ask uh, re requesting you to go and refer to question number eighteen. Write the derivative of sine x with respect to cos x. That is, d sine sine x divided by d cos x. You have to do that. You have to do. All right, sin x, assume u as sin x, assume v as cos x. So what, is, what you have to do is du by dv, derivative of sin x with respect to cos x. So du by dv you have to do, du by dv. So when u is sin x, v is cos x, du by dx will be, du by dx is sin x will be, differentiation of sin x will be cos x. And dv by dx cos x will be minus sin x. So let me write it again. So we have ultimately, we have to find out du by dv. Please remember. So cos x minus sin x. Now you have to find out du by dv. Let us divide them, du by dv. So it will be cos x divided by minus sin x. So minus cot x it will be. du by dv. Okay. Minus cot x. Okay, this is all about this exercise. Thank you so much and take care of yourself. Bye-bye.